Greetings, beautiful people. I hope you all are doing amazing. So today I have Subway bread on the menu, a variety of them using only one dough. So in this lukewarm water, I've combined my sugar and my yeast. Stir, cover, set on the side for about 10 minutes till it's foamy so we know our yeast is good and ready. And then I combine my salt and my flour and i'm using bread flour today stir together let's combine that as well then pour into your stand mixer but you can do this by hand as well but today sister madame has too much going on so i'm going to use the machine for what it was intended now start on very low and then pour in your warm milk it's always best practice, friends, to test your yeast before use, especially during the weather changes, all right? We want to make sure the yeast is alive. And we know it's good and ready for use because it has a foamy frothiness on the top of it. So always test it in a sweet, warm environment. So pour that into your mixture as we have done and continue mixing until the dough pulls off of the side of the mixing bowl. Then go in with your fats. I've used some butter and now drizzling in some olive oil and continue to mix for about 10 more minutes until the dough is stretchy, sticky, smooth, and soft. Now pour it onto your clean work surface form it or mold it into a round shape and then we will section it into four equal parts by eyeballing it after you've done it a few times you can do that just by eyeballing <laughs> and the dough is supposed to be slightly sticky so please do not worry it is not attempting or imposing difficulty <laughs> so just apply a little bit or, or a sprinkle of flour on it and you'll be good to go as you all know, prices of commodities and everything has quadrupled in price. My children, for instance, they love Subway sandwiches. And we as parents don't mind getting them for the kiddos because the Subway sandwiches, as you know, are easy. They're a grab and go kind of deal, right? And they're also easy in the pocket, but that isn't the case anymore, unfortunately, in the world we live in nowadays. So I thought to put it together, really, it costs a fraction of the price. Plus the versatility and functionality of these Subway bread rolls. They can even stand in a place of Yogi rolls. You can use them for any and everything. All right, so we sectioned the, the whole dough into four parts and we are rolling them into logs. We will be making them into the plain ones and then we will add a little bit of pizzazz as you continue to watching coming up pretty soon. I made double the size of this dough, so I went back and made another dough and then we'll use that for the variety coming up soon, so keep on watching this very video here now I'm making some incisions on the top you know diagonal um, and this is an optional step but it makes the bread look pretty in the end and presentation is everything right so that's it now we're going to proof all right we're going to proof until this bread doubles in size just like so they are ready to go into the oven to bake the oven has been preheated and we're baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. And proofing, by the way, means that you're allowing the dough to rise or double in size in a warm, moist environment. The oven, if you turn it on and off, will be a perfect place for proofing, friends. So we're now bringing in the variety. And in this bowl, I have combined freshly grated Parmesan cheese some garlic granules and a mixed herb and spice blend. And you know, let's just stir it together, let's combine it, and that is what we're going to use to sprinkle onto our next batch of Subway bread. Spray a little bit of water onto the bread loaf so that way our Parmesan and herb mix sticks nicely to the bread loaves before we take them into the proofing environment. You also want to make sure that we're not leaving any waste behind so lightly rolling them around like that will help them to pick up the excess parmesan and herb mix then place them on your baking pan leaving enough space in between them and then send them back into the warm oven to rise or proof don't forget your scoring marks i promise you 
They are optional, but they look great. All right, now into the oven, the warm oven, they go to proof. And here comes the first batch, the plain ones. Don't they look amazing? Go in with some melted butter. For presentation, again, give them a little bit of shine. They are ready for use, friends. And just wait until you see how soft and beautiful they are inside. Just perfection, friends, gorgeous. So think that you use only a few ingredients to obtain this is mind blowing friends and you can slide in your omelet in here and use it as a breakfast sandwich you can even use a combination of, of eggs ham bacon cheese just name it now look do you see that hot knife through butter that's how you cut through this bread so easy and beautiful and it tastes absolutely great simple easy to access kind of ingredients you see how soft that is absolute perfection which makes me very happy here comes our second batch which we sprinkle the parmesan and herb mix on and i have selected two of these loaves and sprinkling on some shredded cheddar cheese just like you'll have them at the subway place you go to friends they're going into the oven to bake again at 350 degrees fahrenheit for 25 minutes and voila how beautiful are these absolutely stunning and they're also soft pillowy and absolutely gorgeous inside friends they are perfect for anything you can think of in a sandwich or a sub you would love these and i hope that you're inspired just look at the bottom of them Perfection. I hope you're inspired to try this very simple recipe. Stick around and wait till you see what we do with these. See how soft these are? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I tell you, they're tasty too, friends. I hope you've gained some inspiration to try this recipe. Thank you all for subscribing, for liking the video, for sharing, and also don't forget to leave a comment. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below, and don't forget to share the video as well. Also, watch more videos. It is chop time, and here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.